Okay, so what is scripting and what can I do with it? Here we're going to see some examples. Here we have a little cow. When the hand approaches it, it will move. We have a flower. When the light shines on a sensor, it will close. And then it opens after a little while. And here we have another sensor that when approached, it will turn those lights on and wave the hand. So how does this all work? We have these controls, these components that are, have been attached to the, to the piece of art, and we have some code, some scripting that tells the motors to turn on or off, to tell us the lights to turn on or off, and to move. And it gives you a sense of the cow shaking its head. Here we have another example called Scratch, where we have a little game. We're trying to get the three figures to be the same. And on the left, you have some code that controls. Every time I press on the flag, it gives me randomly a value, and I'm waiting for all three to be the same. It, when they are all the same, when the left equals the center and the center equals the right, then they are all the same, and a message will be displayed. Here we have two sprites playing rock, paper, and scissors. We are pressing the flag, and they are randomly selecting a value, and one wins, one loses, and the code on the left, that's the script, determines the message that will be displayed by the sprite. So here you can see we have a lot of if statements, and we're comparing whether the cat's value equals the duck's value, and, and so on. Now we're going to be seeing another kind of scripting. Here we have a game of die. We're throwing the dice, and we're trying to wait for the values to be the same, and display a message of winner. On the left you see the code. Here it is, you, know, you, can, you have to deal with the syntax, we're typing JavaScript and we're comparing two values. If they are the same, we display the message winner. And finally here we're going to have another example on a web page. We are ordering ice cream online, not a great idea. We're providing the name, we're going to choose sizes and flavors, and we're going to provide it with a quantity, and then we're going to place the order. And the values that we have entered are being displayed on the top in an alert box. Here you can see the person's name, the quantity, and then the size of the ice cream and, and the flavors. And if we look behind the page, we're going to see the script. This is again JavaScript. This is the script that makes that happen. We have a function called getOrder, and then we have quite a few statements that in order will provide the behavior that we want. So we have a lot of it.